Hi students, today we are going to see uh, an interesting concept based on which we are going to uh, look at Millikan's oil drop. So we must know some basic concepts regarding uh, this topic I am going to take. You must have heard about the terminal velocity, right? So now, uh, there is a formula which is called W is equal to Fu F plus U. Okay. Take a beaker, a long beaker or jar like that. Pour some highly viscous liquid like glycerin into it. Up to this level. Now I am going to draw a small spherical metal ball. If you keenly observe it, you can see after some interval of time, this metal ball, spherical metal ball will keep on moving inside this highly viscous liquid with a constant velocity. That constant velocity is called as the terminal velocity. Okay, now, if W is the weight of the spherical metal ball, we all know that W is equal to M into G. And what is M? We also know that density of this metal ball is equal to mass by volume or mass is equal to rho into V. Rho into what is capital V? The volume of the spherical metal ball that is 4 by 3 pi. If A is the radius of the spherical metal ball then pi A cube. When I substitute this value of mass here, this becomes 4 by 3 pi a cube rho into g. So this is the w value. Now, you know one thing, since it is a highly viscous liquid, we all know that what is meant by viscosity, right? So, uh, if we consider the liquid as different layers like uh, very thin sheets of cloths in different layers placed on each other placed one over another like that now when you drop a metal ball some uh, big metal ball on the thin layers of cloths placed one over another what will happen all the thin layered cloths will form a depression like this even though they will try to oppose the movement of the metal ball but when the frictional force between the different layers of the thin cloths increases then all will be closely packed so the density might be increased and their opposition power will also increased will be increased due to which it may have a chance to oppose the movement of the metal ball due to the gravitational force right and that is the viscous force provided by the different layers of the liquid as we compare that different layers of liquid with the different layers of thin cloths and whenever the frictional force between the different layers of thin cloths is compared to the frictional force between the different layers of the liquid when the frictional force between the dif uh, different layers of liquid increases surely these layers of liquid will attain a capacity to oppose the movement of the spherical metal ball which is falling due to the gravitational force so that is the viscous force offered by the highly viscous liquid. That viscous force is F, whose formula is 6 pi A eta V. Eta is called as the coefficient of viscosity. So it differs from liquid to liquid, right? And V is the terminal velocity with which the ball is moving, uh, that is, has attained or is moving, right? Now, this is U, 
this is also f then what is u whenever we dip any jug or mug into the uh, bucket containing water what happens you may have experienced some force opposes the mug or jug right it has been pulled inside now that force which is acting opposite to the direction of the jug or mug right which is offered by the liquid that we, that is what we call as the upward force or up thrust so u is called as the up thrust right so even this up thrust uh, is provided by air because air also possesses some viscosity so this up thrust is also called as upward force whose formula is also equal to u e to mg but here this up thrust is provided by the liquid so if sigma is the density of the liquid it is equal to mass by volume so what is this so this is the volume of the liquid which is equal to the volume of the metal ball so whenever the metal ball falls they are moving or that metal ball is moving into the liquid it will displace the water as it is keep on moving due to the gravitational force so the displaced water will be or the volume of the displaced water will be equal to the volume of the spherical metal ball so that volume of the metal ball will be equal to the volume of the liquid displaced by right? that volume of the liquid displaced is capital b so the density of the liquid which is equal to the volume of the metal ball is sigma mass by volume so m is equal to sigma into v that is 4 by 3 pi again since the volume of the liquid displaced is equal to volume of metal ball then radius will be same a cube sigma now substitute the value of this m here so u is equal to 4 by 3 by a cube sigma So we have found out the value for u, f, and w, and this is the entire thing we are we need to apply in this formula. W is equal to four, right? So this is one example which we are going to apply in Millikan's oil drop method to find out the charge of an electron. So let's see that video next. Thank you.